Hello and welcome back to another episode of JT Invest in You. Today's episode is all about El Salvador and their plans to utilize Algorand to power the government's blockchain services. President Bukele of El Salvador accelerates the path towards blockchain adoption. The country is set to legalize Bitcoin as legal tender tomorrow, September 7th. This is exciting news for the entire crypto industry as it marks the first nation to legalize Bitcoin or any cryptocurrency as legal tender. The government just purchased its first 200 Bitcoin, which is roughly $10 million. But bigger news than that, El Salvador just partnered with CoBanks, a leading Latin blockchain firm, to implement nationwide blockchain technology for government services. Why is this bigger news? Because CoBanks intends to use Algorand as the government's preferred layer one solution. This is surely a continuation in Algorand's efforts to deliver FutureFi to the masses. Now this is where it gets really interesting because the crypto ecosystem was convinced El Salvador was going to choose Cardano, especially after Charles Hoskinson and President Bukele's brother spoke about the creation of a national stablecoin. Algorand, however, was the clear winner. It's been rumored that the Algorand team have been racing to show that they could be the first to bring their national stablecoin to life. Algorand seems steadfast in its approach to garner worldwide adoption. Approaching national governments is a major strategy for Algorand. The Brixton City Council in London chose Algorand to tokenize the local Brixton Pound, which is a localized currency with the goal of encouraging people to shop locally. And the Marshall Islands chose Algorand to host the nation's first digital currency. This recent move by the government of El Salvador to build on top of Algorand is a no-brainer. The CEO of CoBanks was quick to praise the Algorand platform, suggesting it solved the blockchain trilemma. El Salvador is paving the way for other countries to make the promise of blockchain a reality. We are honored to be working with the government to enable Salvadorians to access a global digital economy and the potential for a more prosperous future, said the CEO of CoBanks. To make this possible, we needed technology that was robust enough to handle the needs of an entire nation. We found that in Algorand, a proven blockchain that meets our rigorous requirements for speed, security, and stability. This is a big news for a country to choose a blockchain to power the entire nation's government services is a huge deal. The ability to store official documents digitally on top of the Algorand blockchain will come before the end of this year. The goal is to make business transactions and any other commercial act secure, transparent, agile, and automatic. Each person or legal entity will have their own address containing tokens or hashes with documentation. In addition, all transactions between private companies or individuals with different government entities will be recorded in the Algorand protocol. As of right now, money will not be exchanged on the platform, but securities or rights such as property titles or bank guarantees will be. This is huge because securities include all sorts of assets including bonds and real estate, but one of the more interesting developments is even though it says currently that money will not be exchanged in the platform, it does, as I just said, state that securities will be. There is a huge debate going on whether or not stablecoins are considered to be securities. So if stablecoins are deemed as securities, the entire nation might be able to transact on Algorand-based stablecoins, which is huge, but that isn't even the most exciting news. Honestly, I think it's truly fascinating to have a country store their official documents on top of a blockchain, and not only that, but you, could you imagine having a wallet containing the deed to your house as, as an NFT. So in your wallet, you hold an NFT, a non-fungible token that represents your deed to your house. Imagine how easy it would be to transfer your deed to somebody else in four and a half seconds for a fraction of a penny of a cost. This is a game changer for so many different government services. This is going to make some of those transactions that are super annoying to make, like selling houses and transferring deeds and transferring titles, super seamless and easy. I don't think we can even imagine yet how this is going to streamline their government and streamline their services. This is going to be 
likely way bigger than a lot of us can imagine currently. I see a snowball effect happening where country after country starts building on top of Algorand, whether it be to utilize the blockchain to host their documents, whether it be to utilize the, uh, the blockchain to host the CBDCs. I think Algorand is going to be a major player when it comes to government services. This is just something to keep an eye out for. I just wanted to quickly touch on this topic. I think it's super exciting news that an entire country is leveraging the Algorand blockchain, but I want to know what you think. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about this news. And if you like the content, please give it a thumbs up. If you aren't already, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out a lot. Oh, and I forgot to mention, on September 7th, tomorrow, or today, depending on if you're watching, most of the crypto world is buying $30 worth of Bitcoin in solidarity with the Salvadorians. I personally will be buying $30 worth of Bitcoin as well and $30 worth of Algorand to celebrate this news. It's going to be an exciting day. It's going to be a historic day for crypto. Keep your eyes peeled for more government announcements from Algorand. But as of right now, this is all I got for you. Hopefully you like the content. I will catch you in the next video. I appreciate it.